all right good morning everybody and welcome back to another video it is friday morning october 1st 2021 and uh, i've got a day off today so i am out shooting my very own lone tree right here in yorkville illinois so i'm on a bridge that crosses over the fox river right in downtown yorkville and uh <clears throat> it's gonna be a lot of road noise i apologize for that but this is a beautiful vantage point for our own little uh, lone tree here in Yorkville. The thing is, is, I'm facing pretty much due east. I got here and I got in position, you know, roughly 35, 45 minutes before sunrise. So I'm set up, I'm ready to go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do much long exposure because this bridge that I'm on shakes a little bit every single time all these cars rush by. So long exposure is highly doubtful. But for right now, I'm just going to enjoy the beautiful sunrise on a Friday morning that I'm off from work and uh, get a long weekend started the right way. So. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you haven't already, uh, hit the old subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Hit the notification bell. And uh, let's get started before we miss this gorgeous sunrise. All right, everybody. So I have walked up and down this bridge looking for a good composition, or at least a composition that I like. And it's much more difficult than you would think, and here's why. I want to position the top of that tree up against the sky in the background. But I also want to take advantage of how the river leads the viewer's eye into the image. The river actually creates a V pattern going right into the image. So when I have the top of the tree against the sky, it blocks out that horizon line of where the river is creating that V. It blocks out that whole V point. And when I compose so I can take advantage of that V pattern of the river, the tree then, the top of the tree is then back up against other trees, which I don't like. So I'm going to compose this with the tree right in the middle with the sky, taking advantage of the sky, kind of backlighting the tree, and uh, just kind of hope for the best. But uh, yeah, sun's starting to come up, so it's uh, time to start shooting. I've got my D8, Nikon D850, Sigma, Sigma 24 to 70 lens on. I also brought my, my 70 to 200. I'm going to try to shoot some wildlife, so there's a lot of birds around here. And uh, I'm not leaving home ever again without my macro lens. Hopefully you saw last week's video when I talked about how Simon Booth shoots uh, macro out in nature, and I'm going to... I'm hooked uh, on that, so you're going to see a lot of that going going forward. Hope you don't mind. So, oh, uh, that's pretty. All right, birds are starting to show up now, so it's definitely time to start shooting.
the show is over as far as the sunrise, but now I'm going to go down that way, down by the uh, rapids, see if I can get some macro shots. But uh, from up here, despite my better judgment, I did. I put my uh, big stopper on it. It's a 10-stop neutral density filter. And I was getting some pretty long exposures, 8 to 30 seconds exposures with my D850. I'm going to assume that most of those are going to be deleted because of you know, the, the vibrations in this bridge. But you never know. It's worth trying just to see. I know there, there was a couple breaks in the traffic pattern where I feel like I might have gotten a couple of shots so you know and i was i was shooting at five four or five and six seconds here and there so i'm hoping i got one of those just to blur the water out smooth everything out and uh there's no really no wind so the trees should have remained in focus but pretty cool really the uh having our own little lone tree right here um who knows, maybe this tree will end up being famous. All right, so now I'm gonna walk down by the kayak chute and see if I can find a couple of good opportunities to use my macro lens. And then uh, probably call it a day after that. It's getting late in the morning. Time for breakfast almost. At least a cup of coffee. So when you go looking for macro pictures, look for things like texture, contrasting colors, symmetry, pattern, saturation, something unique, something that uh, is going to have some interest, your normal composition uh, rules come into play, right, when you're doing macro as well. Jesus, you want to take advantage of all that stuff with your macro lens and zoom in one to one and just kind of show the world what they're not normally seeing with the naked human eye so that's the cool thing about macro is you can you can bring to life some of these things that in everyday life you just walk on by and you don't see so that's uh that's what i look for and i, I think that'll help you too when you go out to shoot macro Everybody. Hey, that's going to do it for another week. That's going to do it for another video. Thank you so very much for stopping by. I am falling in love with this macro photography. So today we got some beautiful sunrise images with the D850, with the D500. Then I put the one-to-one -one macro lens on my D500, got a little bit more reach, shot in, got some beautiful macro shots again today. So loving that morning light, loving the macro lens. Thank you very much for stopping by. If you haven't already, hit the old subscribe button, hit the like button, drop me a comment, let me know how you're doing. Hope you're having a great week. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And uh, that is it for this week. With that, I am Garrick, and I am your very best friend in the whole wide world. So we'll see you next week, everybody. Bye-bye.